Hey guys, it's Addison Lee here. Um, just want to let you know I'm going to be uh, doing some more videos, uh, so please subscribe and like my videos. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, let me know. In today's video, I'm just going to be letting you know uh, how I rig up uh, frozen, frozen alloys compared to uh, live alloys, and there is a difference. And uh, if you have any questions, like again, uh, just let me know. Subscribe and like. Remember that. Thanks. Enjoy. Alright guys, this here is a, a regular 5-6 uh, inch alloy and I'm just wriggling it through the mouth here as you can see, trying to get it through and i um, aiming to just get it through the side of the gill here so it comes out yep, just like that and once you get it out you know, the string is just going to be through just like that alright now that here's a closer view we got it through and I'm just aiming to hook it right through the top through the top of the L wife here and uh, just like that right through the top here kinda right next to the spine there if you want to look at it right up through the top there and it should just come right through like that because the frozen L wife is uh, you, it has a softer body so you gotta rig it up a little different here so it stays on Otherwise, if a fish takes it, it'll just just take take the owl wife and that's it. You know, it's gone. So, um, yeah, you just pull it right through, and it'll kind of hide the hook like that in a sense. And um, once a fish takes it, they usually take it head first, and um, you should be able to set the hook on it. It should be a lot better. And what I try to do here is um, stick this piece of foam that I have in its mouth, but obviously this owl wife here was a little bit smaller than I thought. Either that or my foam was a little bit bigger than I cut it um, but yeah I tried here and if not you know it's fine you can just hold it off like that and it'll, it'll be fine as well so